The next modality that I would like to show is video. And we have one video project here. Let's open it and take a look at classes and tags first. So we will we have a road class associated with polygon shape and a zebra class associated with rectangular shape here. And as for tags, uh, we have uh, animals visible tag and we will use it and, and this tag is applicable to videos only. And also there are two additional tags called size and actions with some predefined values that are associated with videos and objects. This size tag is associated with objects only. So let's let's take a look what we can do with these classes and tags defined. So let's open default video labeling interface. So let's play this video first. And maybe what we are interested in is to label the frames when we see the, these animals. So I can navigate here um, in this kind of way. Uh, maybe I would like to start tagging uh, with this frame and say that starting from this frame the animal is visible. So I will select the tag, press select button and maybe I will just play this video further and stop it somewhere here. Uh, or maybe I will go a bit further like this and say that on this set of frames uh, the animal is visible. So I will just tag this frame range with this tag called animals visible. And you see this uh, references. So uh, we have this tag associated with frames, with all the frames starting from uh, this uh, 47 frame and uh, ending with uh, this 205 frame. Okay, maybe we will just play a little further and see if any other anim anim animals are crossing the road. Yeah, and they do. So maybe we will also start and say from, uh, from maybe this frame we will also want to outline the frame range when we see uh, uh, animals are crossing. Uh, the road. So, okay, I think that's a good approximation. And again, I will tag this frame range also. So, what we have achieved, we just have tagged two frame ranges that specify the event that we are interested in. So, let's let's move further here and let's probably just go to this very first to, 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 to this uh, uh, frame number 47 and let me deselect this tag and maybe what what I would like to do next is to uh, is to label uh, spatially uh, this zebra. So I will not rely on AI tools, I will just do it manually. And let me just put a rectangle here first. And one way for me to like label uh, label these objects on multiple frames is to press uh, Ctrl C, go to the next frame, press Ctrl V, and if I do it like several times, uh, I may uh, later readjust this frame. So uh, let me show you how to do that. So this, the, this uh, rectangle is quite tight here, and what I can do, I can actually use this tool to adjust uh, the the rectangle uh, a little bit on every frame here. And when we will talk about uh, uh, AI uh, and deep learning models, uh, you will see uh, the ways how I may be way more efficient on this kind of operations. And let me just for illustration purposes probably, uh, uh, probably label just quickly one other, uh, one other uh, zebra here. So maybe I should go to this frame and uh, and label uh, like one more zebra. Uh, so let me do that, and I will also do it manually. Uh, I just would like to attach uh, various tags to this uh, to these animals uh, and show uh, a couple of more uh, concepts. So. Let me just uh, do the same approach. I will copy paste uh, and then slightly adjust. So this is tight box and 
this requires some adjustment like this and I will also adjust this one um, okay uh, let me deselect this one so what we end up with is this two these two objects so this specific object consists of three figures so figure one figure two and figure three here and and another object it was the very first zebra um, so this one with six objects uh, and we can also kind of inspect these individual figures so you see that this video labeling interface uh, are specifically designed to deal with this temporal data uh, to keep track of objects across time so let me actually do probably one more thing here so what 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 i want to do i want to assign a tag to this to this object so maybe i want to say that okay i want to say that uh, this zebra uh, uh, act in some way so i select mark frames i select a tag mark frames and maybe i what what, what i would like to say is that during this first three frames this zebra is say uh, uh, just uh, say walking uh, yeah, like this uh, and maybe then uh, what I would also like to do maybe I would like to say that during the next three frames this zebra is running so what I can do I can again pick this tag here um, and select these three additional frames and just tag with uh, a running tag uh, like this so and what we achieved is that uh, we labeled this zebra and we associated uh, an action so you know, on this phrase on this frame range we said that the zebra is walking but on this frame range we said that the zebra is running and let me probably do one last thing here so i will navigate uh, i will pick this um, uh, this uh, zebra that uh, that we labeled last and maybe I will just what I will do I will just associate uh, a tag called size with, with, with this object and say size we do not expect size to be changed and in this case I may use this option to uh, to assign uh, size uh, to the to the object uh, whenever whenever the object occurs uh, in the previous case, we assign the tag to the object and frame range. Now we just assign the tag to the entire object. And say we say that this zebra has to say normal size. And we assign the size here. So let me do one last thing here. So maybe we would like to label uh, uh, some uh, stationary, uh, stationary objects as well. Uh, and let, take, let me take road as an example and maybe I would like to label road here with, uh, with a mm, polygon uh, in this kind of way uh, and then once I label it I will show you how I can propagate these annotations further so, so here is the road that we have labeled but, I, but maybe I would like uh, this road to be uh, to present on all the frames and one one of the ways i can uh, achieve that is just to select this object and uh, go to this predefined uh, tab here and say that i would like to clone this and i would would like to clone this object to the end so this is like the number of frames that i would like to uh, uh, to use to replicate this object so and then i will just click check and and the result is the following so i just got this uh, road annotations uh, uh, copied up until uh, the end so that's it let's move on to the next modality uh, 